as hosts keep ignoring a crucial component, live fans implore Kelly Ripa and Mark Consulos to change the talk show's name. Viewers who tuned into Friday's episode of the show discovered that Kelly and Mark had once more pre-recorded an episode. Kelly was stunning in an orange wrap dress as her husband Mark welcomed the studio audience and announced the time of the program. Then, as Kelly began to recall the day she gave birth, he said that it was their son Michael's 26th birthday. However, viewers were more worried about the fact that the show had been pre-recorded than they were about their son. Someone made the following suggestion on Twitter, at KellamarkLive thus, live with Kelly and Mark isn't airing live once more. Maybe another user reacted angrily, at KellamarkLive why don't you be honest and say all the tedious things. We're recording this, but our son's birthday is on Friday, so, you know. Your 80-plus audience dislikes being made to look foolish. Another person countered, asking why it mattered if it was live. I don't really care if it's recorded or not. I don't understand the fuss. A different viewer, though, responded, well, it's meant to be a live show. If it isn't the majority of the time, they ought to drop the live from their name. And why in the world do they require a five-day weekend? When Ryan was there, they didn't even have that many days off, they continued. After viewers complained that the show was overly pre-recording Kelly and Mark, the U.S., Sun exclusively reported last month that they taped many episodes months in advance. After live broadcast previously recorded programs just days into their brand new term as co-hosts, fans had previously threatened to boycott the morning discussion show. For instance, Live with Kelly and Mark pre-recorded the program for June 19 on April 26. The episode was then shot on April 27 and is slated to air on June 26. According to an informant who spoke to the U.S., Sun, the opening monologue for the pre-recorded episodes is very general, like discussing relationships and Mark and Kelly's marriage and life with the kids. Big news events like Jerry Springer's passing, which occurred in the middle of the April 27th taping, were not discussed. According to the source, cast members from The Walking Dead, Dead City, which debuts on June 18, were invited as guests for the dates in June. At least five more filming days are slated for the show to pre-record episodes. Fans of the show should anticipate more pre-recorded episodes in the future. It was also disclosed. The U.S. Sun was informed by a source close to production that this is nothing new and that the live timetable fluctuates weekly. The source explained that since the hosts have other commitments, pre-taping of the show is common. Ryan's goodbye. Back in April, viewers were outraged to learn that Ryan Seacrest's final episode had been pre-recorded. On their talk show's April 14th broadcast, Kelly bid Ryan farewell. The presentation included nostalgic videos, heartfelt speeches, cake, gifts, and more. Fans, however, picked up on a detail right away that made them very unhappy. The words previously recorded appeared on the screen as soon as Ryan and Kelly sat down at the desk. Seriously, Ryan's final concert wasn't live, and fans expressed their sadness on Twitter. It's disappointing to realize that his last live performance was pre-recorded. Can it at least be a live performance? A fan asked. Why is this program even still called live? Really bummed up that Ryan's final show was recorded in advance, added another. Someone responded, I was thinking the same thing, to that. Even his final day is a taped version. I don't understand. Why does it Ryan Seacrest another questioned, last day not live? One upset fan tweeted, Regis got a live farewell, but Ryan's is pre-recorded. An avid live user tweeted, previously recorded, along with face palm emoticons.